Hey everybody, this is Jeff Hill at eTechnos. This video, we're going to talk about just the basics of editing a page in the Benefits Easy system. So, uh, most commonly after a site's been built, is making simple edits throughout the year, changes in forms, plans, documents, uh, rates, uh, things like that. So we're going to go through which is the most common thing, is how to edit pages generally on the Benefits section. The good thing is, Learning how to do it in the benefits means it applies to uh, new hires or HR or any custom page that you built wherever you need to do it. So this is kind of the intro to the editor and making edits to pages. So first thing we're going to do, just like anything else, when you get to your site, you are going to go to your dashboard, use your admin login. Let me make sure I get us in the, the home place. Uh, for everybody to be able to log in. So next thing is, is editing pages. As you would guess, you're going to go to the pages and hit all pages. If it's benefits and it's the accordion style benefits, then all of those are found within the benefits tab. I'm going to click on that. But if you want to edit HR, new hires, homepage, you'll see after you uh, get the hang of it, you can make those edits wherever you need to. So I'm going to click on the benefits page. It's easiest just to not hit edit or use one of our other editors that's built into the site. You just get in the habit of always clicking on the actual page and it will bring up the editor in exactly where you need to be to make edits. So as always, what I like to do is always encourage everybody to click on their other tab. Um, I guess I don't have it where you can see on my screen, but what I always do is right click on open in a new tab and that way I can see what I'm doing. So what we're going to do is go to the benefits. We'll just go to Mr. Medical here and let's make some edits to this screen. So I'll click back. The ability to toggle back and forth is really great. If you have another window open or another monitor like I have, you can just have those side by side and it reduces a lot of clicking. So um, if we're going to make any edits, so what you can do is you scroll down and there's a lot of spacers and containers and custom fields. We'll talk about adding custom sections in another video. But if you scroll down, you're going to see really quickly it unfolds generally with medical already open, but I'll close that in case you see that should be exactly what you've seen before. Basic edits, if you do, by the way, what's unique about the benefits section is you can rename, you can change, you can delete, you can add more. So if I click on any of these things right here and I want to make edits, then of course I can hit clone. I can make edits, whatever the case may be. I can do all that right inside the system. So what I'm gonna do first is we're gonna go in here and uh, kind of get familiar with this. As you scroll around, it's really helpful. It pops up basically the options if you're in a section that you can make edits to. So if I need to move something around, that's where the four arrows are, just like you see there. If I need I want to move a document from here down to there, just that simple. If I want to edit any text, all right, so let's start right here. It tells you it's a text box um, block and the pencil is there. Opens up block settings full editor, anything you want to change, a very basic online editor or WYSIWYG. You can change it, make edits as you need and go through it. Typically, you do need, do not need to edit anything else on the bottom here. There's not many uh, features, but for the most part, you shouldn't have to do anything besides make edits, uh, change anything you want. And as always, make sure you hit save. Okay, now that's another reminder. It hasn't saved to the actual site until I hit update here or update in the toolbar. So get in the habit as you make a number of changes to hit update once in a while. That refresh uh, maybe takes you four or five extra seconds, but you won't lose anything. Same thing down here below. Uh, I want to edit the button or do I want to copy or clone or uh, delete it? So in this case, let's just say uh, I would need to add a new button. Okay. So just so you know what is different though, if I hit edit, once again, we can edit what the button says, but also the document attached to it. Okay, this is a, the most common thing you'll do in any benefit site is hyperlink or attach text or buttons to something. Deductible, uh, text, uh, PDFs, spreadsheets, whatever it is. So you can see this one's already connected to a document. It has the text on there. Again, you can go through this. There's some extra options, but for the most part, we don't change a lot of that. Now there is a little icon right here. If you want to get fancy and you want to change that, it's actually really cool. You can go here and click on this button 
it's going to give you a whole bunch of different icons that you can choose, you can search. If you want to say PDF because it is a PDF, well, great. I'll click on that. Uh, what I'm also gonna do on this one is go to the top and say, I just wanna change this to a different number just to show that we did this. And I'm also gonna remove what it's currently linked to. So I can remove that. And now that, as you can imagine, now I wanna be able to add a new document. So if I wanna upload any file, then you go to the upload file, drag and drop or select. And once it's in there, I'll just take one of these PDFs just because as an example, it's already in there. Uh, and you can literally just hit insert and now it is hyperlinked. If you have any special details you need to do, you can change the name, open up a new windows, that kind of stuff. But it's generally set to do all those things to rename it and link it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. I'm gonna go ahead and hit update. So as it thinks, that's usually when I come over here and hit refresh on my demo site. And we should hopefully see now, yep, there's a thousand and it goes to a different document. If you ever wanna do a quick look, you can see on the very bottom. Now, if I scroll over this, it's not gonna let me show it to you, but you see right down here, right in this area, when you hover over something and it links to something, it'll tell you the web address. So you just named files, you just uploaded it. So it's actually a quick way to look and make sure it's linked and linked to the way you want. And of course, uh, the best thing to do is always click on something, make sure it opens up that way. You also can see uh, different icons, different things are in there. Uh, if I change that, I think I actually used the one that was in there. So we're going to go back and see, we'll go back to where we're at, everything's saved. Now, um, if it is cloning, you'll see it's exactly the same. So don't get confused with seeing two in there. Make sure if you hit clone, it goes right below it. And you wanna quickly uh, probably go right there and change it to whatever the new document is, just so you don't get confused which one's which. There you go. Remove that, select something else, upload. So there you go. You can see all the details are in there. All right, save that one and hit update. Now what's different, if we go back and look at the other page, you can see here's the text we strive toward to reward our employees. That's up here. So you can see the, the section title, the subtext, all these things are easy to find right inside the site, right there, okay? Medical, if I need to make any edits to this one, you'll see you can click on it and just do a quick look to see what it is, right? If it's something you don't know about like this, you just don't have to uh, make any edits, but you can see if it, this was, you're gonna rename it to medical PPO instead of just medical. You can go ahead and do that, hit save. Same thing in this section right here, custom heading. You'll see it's a little bit more text, your medical benefits. If we change this just as the example, there it is and save it, update. And now we'll see where we kind of change some of those things. So it should change these details and some in here. Okay, there's our medical PPO and our medical PPO difference, all right? So the basics of this one, we're gonna look at the, a few different things on there, but then we're gonna attack this table. That's the only other thing that's kind of unique about the system. Uh, any document, any link or a carrier, uh, if it's a document or a website, you can see if you click on edit, it's gonna pop open right over here. And the last thing I'm gonna say as it pulls up, you see there's the URL. It's not going to a document. So I'm gonna close this out and just to point that out, you see next to this go button, it says document button. It's built to link to a document you upload in your file library. This one is just a button that links to a, usually a website. It actually can go to a document, but so if you ever look in there and you say, wow, I don't see the media library, it may be because you're looking at one of these. So easiest thing to do on that, and just come over here and clone it and just drag it over. So say I needed a document button over here. I wanted to add a different resource. Well, you just go in here. You can see it says document button. So now this link goes to a hyperlink. This goes to a document, vice versa. Clone them, move around any way you want to. Super easy, okay? Hit update. Now what we got on here is these tables. This is where we have the contribution table. So I click on this. The way these work, we want to give you a lot of flexibility 
as we know in our world, contribution schedules can be really unique. They can be really challenging. They can uh, require a lot of details that you want to put in there. So uh, rather than just having a basic form that you might run into limitations, we wanted to create a really cool table app. Uh, and that is embedded into all the benefits, easy sites. So when you go in there, you'll see the main ones, medical, dental, vision, are in here. So it's just another page. It's almost a custom page just for this site. So you just like anything else, you want to make edits. Then you click on the actual table that you want to edit. And then you can see all the details. It's a real simple form. Adding or removing or changing, doing any of the text is very, very simple to go through the system. We're going to... Um, make edits and hit save just like you're used to. It's just a little bit different. It says save changes up here. It also has a little bit of table name and details that you see on that, right? There's the medical contribution schedule. If you want to change that, you do it right there. So what's important on this to know is that every table that you create, they're automatically set medical as table one, two, or three. So if you ever change anything or you want to add a second table or you need to have two in a row, then you go back to your tables. And just like all the other pages we do, the options underneath it, one of them will be to copy it. And the important thing is, so say we wanted to do two medical plans, I need a second medical table, then I'm just going to go to this one that has, uh, maybe it already has the details or you're going to start from scratch. At any point you hit copy. It's going to think about that, of course, and then it refreshes. Now here's my copy, so I'm going to go ahead and edit that. And what you're going to see is besides making changes, it's just going to have a different table ID, right? It's right up here. It's number five. You can imagine they will go in succession. So I will just say maybe we're going to create a copy of the medical section and medical PPO contribution, whatever the case may be. It's table five. If I want to actually copy this whole thing, I can, but for the most part, It'll be in one of your other pages to go ahead and copy, or you can just change the number. So I'll just hit save. Every table has that ID number. And if I go back to just pages, we'll go back to benefits. Okay. Scroll down there, you see table ID. So if I did need to change that, I could either copy and paste that one, the whole text, or just change five. So if you ever copied a page, copied a section right here, so you can see medical PPO, but I wanted to copy that for a whole nother section, that's how you do it. So using a table, really robust, has lots of features, go ahead and play with that. Uh, know that that table ID is the main thing that you need to be aware of if you change it. If you ever see something that you don't remember, uh, if it shows the wrong table, contribution, whatever it is, just go ahead and double check on the table go back to your table press and look at the number and make sure that those match and it's in the system right here on the top that's how you go through that so we covered everything definitely takes a little practice of uploading documents and linking it but it's really quick and really easy if you have any questions along the way of course as always contact etechnos at support at etechnos.com thanks everybody see ya